Welcome back to CalArt. You're about to watch and listen to essential information about learning safely at CalArt sites during the COVID-19 pandemic. This information follows government guidelines. Your welfare is really important to us at CalArt and we want to assure you that we are taking every step to enable you to feel safe and stay healthy as you return to learning. If you have any questions following this presentation, do ask your tutor. You'll find things a bit different at Calad. We've made sure our buildings are as safe as possible by providing online and socially distanced face-to-face -face classes. There's also been a significant increase in cleaning in each of our buildings. Every entrance and classroom has antibacterial wipes and hand gel for use. The cleaning team are regularly sanitising areas such as door handles, glass doors, lift buttons and touch surfaces like filing cabinets, and also sanitising kitchen areas, toilet doors, locks, flush buttons and basins. They're also making sure our washrooms are fully stocked with wipes, soap and hand towels to help you keep safe. So what can you do to help? If you're not feeling well, stay at home and get tested. Order a test immediately at www.nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus or call 119 if you have no internet access. Please let your tutor know if you have COVID-19 symptoms and when or if you get a positive test result. If you are at Calash and feel ill, tell your tutor immediately. Go home as soon as possible, avoid touching any surfaces while still in the building, avoid using public transport to get home and follow the NHS test and trace guidance. Stay at home and get tested. Order a test immediately at www.nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus or call 119 if you have no internet access. Your tutor should inform facilities management that you needed to leave so the classroom area and surfaces that you have touched can be cleaned. Here is some guidance about when you arrive for your lessons at Strand House and Clock Tower. Make sure you arrive 10 minutes before your class starts. There will be a queuing system outside the main entrance to these buildings, allowing one person in at a time. Once inside the building, you should use the hand sanitizer at the entrance and again when you arrive in your classroom. And do remember your face covering. For staff and learners using New Addington Library, you will be asked to use the side door observing the queuing system as normal, use the antibacterial hand gel and go straight to your classroom. Do remember your face covering. Toilets are available for staff and learners on the first floor and unfortunately there is no crash provision until further notice. Remember, wash your hands regularly or use antibacterial hand gel. Wear a face covering in corridors, on the stairs and around the building. To maintain social distancing, only one person is to be in the lift at any one time. Similarly, if you prefer to use the stairs, only one person can use the stairs at a time. Remember to keep your distance. You will see some changes in the toilets, especially with sinks and urinals. Some will be marked unavailable for use to help maintain social distancing. Respect the two metre distance as far as you reasonably can. It's also about courtesy and respect for others' safety. And not least, Remember to wash your hands using soap and water for at least 20 seconds. As you go to your classroom, you'll
You'll notice all the seats have been arranged in a socially distanced way. Sit at a clear desk and clean your desk using wipes. Use the antibacterial gel to clean your hands afterwards. When you leave the classroom, please wipe your desk again. There are antibacterial wipes and hand gels available in all classrooms. If you're using a computer, clean the keyboard and mouse using the wipes available. And afterwards, use an antibacterial gel to keep your hands clean. When your classes are finished, leave the building immediately. If the fire alarm goes off, use any exit to leave the building. Stay out for 30 minutes and keep a safe distance wherever possible. When you're learning with Calad, there are key things we should all do to create and maintain a safe and healthy place. Keep two metres distance apart wherever possible. Wash your hands frequently and for a minimum of 20 seconds. And most importantly, always look after yourself and others. We all share responsibility for supporting each other in order to stay safe. Calat takes seriously its duty of care and we will always place your health as our priority. We will ensure that our sites are kept clean and sanitised and we will support you to learn effectively. In return, we trust you to stay alert and to always look after yourself and others. If you notice any learner needing help, either because they might feel unwell or because they may be unsure what to do, then take a moment to find out what you can do for them. Thank you for learning with Calat and we look forward to seeing you soon.